Surprise! Welcome to a special episode of our Eurovision Diary. When it's a contest, it has to be a winner. This ever winner was Liz Asia, who represented Switzerland with song Refrain. Portugal needed 49 songs until they finally won in 2017. Besides Switzerland winning in 1956, Serbia gained the victory in a first attempt as an independent country in 2007 with Molitva, sung by Maria Sarifovic. 33 English songs won Eurovision, making this language the most popular, but before free language rule, French songs won 14 times. Eurovision is a woman. Almost 40 women won the contest, when only 11 men did it solo. Some countries are still waiting for their first win. The others won even twice in a row, like Spain in late 60s, Luxembourg in 70s, Israel made it too, and Ireland won not twice but three consecutive years. And Ireland is leading with seven victories, making the records. Johnny Logan won twice for Ireland as a singer and third time as a songwriter. Ireland won three times in a row and four times in five years. But Sweden is chasing them as much as they can, being only country who won two times in the last decade. Once in Eurovision history, back in 1969, four countries received the same amount of points after the last voting country. Confused host asked supervisor to reveal who won. Because rules weren't prepared for draw, we had four winners this year. But not everybody was happy with that result, boycotting contest a year later. 22 years later, second tie in the Eurovision history was between France and Sweden. According to the tie-break rules that time, supervisor counted that both France and Sweden received 4 12 points each. But Sweden gained 10 points from 5 countries when France only 2. Sweden won in 1991, but if we use later rules of tiebreak, France would win with points from 18 countries when Sweden got points from 17. Another close races happened not once in Eurovision. In 1968, Basiel from Spain won with Cliff Richard from United Kingdom with only one point. In 1979, Israel and Spain fought for a win. Spain was one point over, but was the last country to vote, making it impossible to receive any point. At the end, Spain gave Israel 10 points, giving them second win in a row. In 1988, Switzerland and United Kingdom were very close. Yugoslavia was the last country voting and they awarded Celine Dion with 6 points, making her a leader with only 1 point above UK. But everyone was disappointed, until Yugoslavia, surprisingly, not award British entry with a single point. And in 1998, close race happened between three countries. Israel and Malta were leading when the UK was nine points behind. Former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia had a crucial vote, giving eight points for Israel. UK received ten points, but Malta didn't receive any point. In 2002, last voting Lithuania awarded Malta with 3 points, making a draw with Latvia until they gave their neighbors maximum 12 points. A year later, Belgium, Russia and Turkey fought fiercely to win. Slovenia was the last country voting, giving Belgium only 3 points, and Turkey received 10 and won for the first time. That's it. 
I think that's it. I think I'm going to Istanbul. Possibly Ankara. Hi mom, just won Eurovision. We'll be back at home at 2 a.m. Current situation made Duncan Lawrence the longest reigning champion of Eurovision. But don't forget to say something important when you win. You are actually the first winner to ask it, Lena, but yes. Okay. And who will reprise tonight? 